Uncut Edition with Deborah Norville. <laughs> then, want a baby? The pressure's on. Go on a procreation vacation. Resorts for couples who want to conceive. Food, lighting, atmosphere. They say they've got what it takes to make a baby. A procreation vacation. Did it work? The proof is in the pregnancy, and we've got the results. In today's hectic world, there is a new challenge to families, and that is having one. Turns out some couples don't always have the time or opportunity to get down to the procreation part of things. So April Woodard says there is a new way to address that problem, the procreation vacation. Cindy and Kimry Hughes are kicking off a new phase of their lives. They're trying to have a baby. We, you know, really love each other. We have a good time, but I think both of us would like to see a little something in the middle. The newlyweds from Washington, D.C. are excited, and so are their families. Sometimes my mother has sent, sent us running out the house, go yeah. home, do something, go make In the movie. middle of the conversation, I mean, she's like, okay, time for you to go. Go, go, get your stuff. But for the busy writer and political consultant, finding time to conceive has been tough. So they booked what's called a procreation vacation at the Westin Grand Bahama Island Resort. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. According to Laura Begley at Travel and Romance magazine, it's a growing trend. For couples who want to conceive, who better to help than a romantic hotel? They've either got experts on staff or they've got local traditions that they can tap into and really help couples along in the pursuit of getting pregnant. Cindy and Kimry invited Inside Edition along for their three-day getaway, which the hotel touts as a way to enhance the baby-making process. Absolutely. They start with a couple's massage to relieve stress, a romantic dinner sets the mood, and at the West End, couples are served unlimited glasses of a romance-enhancing elixir and bowls of pumpkin soup, both Bahamian recipes long believed to help fertility. Just ask the chef. We know how to make children. <laughs> <laughs> At night, Kimry and Cindy enjoy the local flavor, which includes eating plenty of conch, a Caribbean shellfish which Bahamians claim is their version of Viagra. Tasty. But the most important element comes later, and we can't show it to you on television. Hopefully it pays off from the work that we put in last night. <laughs> Kimry and Cindy say if nothing else, the weekend helped them to relax and focus on their new goal. But did it work? Whether it was the romantic mood or something really is in that pumpkin soup, we're happy to report that Kimry and Cindy came home with the best souvenir imaginable. We're having a baby. Go figure. Now, if you'd like to hear more about similar programs, come to our website, InsideEdition.com.